Welcome back. Let's talk about the device setup. One of the most important things you need during this training is an Android device. Within Mobile Hacking Lab, we have an integrated virtual Android device in the cloud, which you can already use. So this is the third option, but we also want to tell you a little bit about the other options. First of all, you can use a physical Android device. So I would recommend a second phone you can use for hacking. So if you want to use your own phone, of course, if you ruin something, you need to root your device. You need to update it maybe to a specific version. Yeah, that's really tricky if you do that on your own device. And also if you do it on a second device, if you mess it up, it's still pretty bad. So those are the disadvantages. Some of the advantages are if you want to test real hardware, the specific chipset or other things, a real device might be really handy or maybe even necessary. It is fast as well, at least regarding the connection. If you plug in your USB key cable, you can just connect to the device over your local network. The second option is that if you are a developer and you're already using Android Studio, within Android Studio, you can create a virtual Android device, a so-called AVD. This is handy if you want to debug your application before you create a production build. It is also quite fast, depending on your hardware. So that's already the disadvantage. It's not always that fast because it depends on your hardware. And it can also take a lot of disk space if you create a few different virtual devices. And then the third option, we will explain in more detail how easy you can use it with your mobile hacking lab. But in general, a cloud device is easy to set up. Usually you can also create snapshots, which is very handy. Some of the disadvantages are, it can be slower depending on the location where the device is hosted. And also it can be costly compared to a virtual device. So let's go quickly over the Android virtual device. So within Android Studio, you can create two types of virtual devices. One with the Google APIs, which is a rooted or debug device, and one with the Google Play Store, which is a production build. So if I open Android Studio, I can go to the virtual device manager, and then you can click on create device. You can create a phone, but also other types of devices. And you can see some of the devices have the Google Play Store icon, and others don't have that option. So we can pick one, like a Pixel 6a, which has the Play Store icon. Then we click on Next, and then you need to download, for every specific Android version, you need to download the image first. But if I want to create an Android 14 device, for example, I need to download the API 34 first. That's only this space, uh, of course. Then you can click on Next, you can click on Finish, and then the device will be created. So let's start one of the devices I already created. So this setup is quite fast. You just click on create the device. Then you get the device and you can use it. So it already has internet and everything uh, with the default settings. So it's quite easy to use. So this is in short how you can use a virtual device. But we will use the integrated mobile hacking lab devices. But just for this training, if you want to create your own virtual device, you can follow the workbook, how to create a device with the Google APIs, and also how to create a Play Store device, and even how to root your Play Store device. So just as some additional uh, material, if you want to create your own virtual device, you can just follow those steps. But for now, we want to focus on the mobile hacking lab device, which you can use during this training by following all the labs and also the exam. We will provide you with an integrated device within Mobile Hacking Lab. So let's continue with the next video where we will explain how you can connect with this Mobile Hacking Lab device.